Yeah, so the first time was, uh, let's see, about three, well, it was May the 3rd, so that's just over a month ago. I was up for six days, and then I came back down on what have made the 9th or the 10th, um, and then I went back up two weeks ago for, I flew from, let's see, uh, where were we? We were in Salt Lake City. I flew from Salt Lake to Cleveland in one night. I flew overnight, and then um, once I got there for the day game, um, I was a little early. I wasn't activated on that roster yet, so I had to sit around and wait for them to play the game, uh, only to find out that I was getting sent back down that day. So I landed there at 9 a.m. that morning after flying through the night. I got on a plane at 7.30 that afternoon, flew back here to Vegas that same day, got in at uh, about 1.30 and got back to my apartment at 2.30ish. Um, was here for about 12 hours and then flew out that following day from here in Las Vegas at uh, about uh, it was a 10.30 flight, I wanna say, back to Oakland. Spent two weeks in Oakland, flew back two days ago um, which would have been what, June the 3rd? Um, and so I was lucky and I was up there for the better part of about two weeks that I'd go around. But there was that period there around May the, uh, I want to say about the 14th or so, where I flew up to Cleveland over through the night, flew back home to Vegas that next day through the night. And then uh, about 12, 15 hours later, got back on a plane that next morning and flew back to Oakland. So it's been, it's been a lot of travel. Tomo's been, Tomo's been wearing me out on the table. My back's been all kinked up in you know, window seats and stuff. So he saved my butt, so to speak. My first time, the first time I got called up, um, it was, I don't know, the third or the fourth inning. We were playing in Salt Lake City. Uh, Reno, excuse me, we were playing in Reno. It was the third or fourth inning and I had had an in at bat. And I was going out to play defense. We just finished the inning, top of the inning. And our third base coach, we were on the first base side of the dugout, came flying across the field. He was running over. And it was kind of strange because, you know, I've never seen him run that fast. And uh, he stopped me at the top of the stairs. And I'd forgotten this top right here, this BP top, it's what we take batting practice in and uh, he'd give me a hard time about it before then. So this was game two or so of the series. So when we got there, he'd give me a hard time. And uh, he stopped me at the top and he said, hey, remember how I gave you a hard time about your BP jersey? And I was like, yeah, but it's the middle of a ball game. What's this have to do with anything? And he said, well, uh, you've been traded. And uh, where you're going, you don't have to pack your stuff. They pack it all for you. So that way there's no reason for you to forget anything. He said, you're going to the big leagues. You're a big leaguer now. You're going to Pittsburgh. Congratulations. So I was there and I looked around. I didn't believe him at first. You know, I was kind of stone cold faced. And um, I looked around. Some of my teammates had kind of overheard at this point and they started to gather. And uh, I looked at him. I said, are you for real? And he said, I'm not messing with you, you're going to the show. And he stuck out his hand and offered me a handshake and I took his hand, I pulled him, I gave him a hug. I grabbed some of my teammates that were nearby and um, yeah, the waterworks began. Yeah. And uh, I got teary eyed and I gave hugs to all my coaches and everybody was there and then um, it, was, it was a special moment. And then uh, I sat there for the rest of that half inning. And then once that half inning was over, I grabbed my helmet, my glove, my bats and uh, I made my way outside behind. We had to exit through uh, left field. So I started to walk around and in that next half inning and the umpire looked at me and smiled and said, good luck, congratulations. Uh, I knew a couple of guys in the opposing dugout. They just said the same thing. They kind of gave me a thumbs up and you know, a little applause and I thanked them. And then a couple of the fans kind of understood what was happening at that point. And as I got down the line towards the fans, uh, a few of them, you know, said congratulations, good luck, congratulations, good luck, and then I lost it. That was when it all became real to me. So it was a very, very cool experience. It was something that I'll never forget. And I went straight into the clubhouse and started calling all my family. Yeah, hope, got, ho yeah. hope I never see you again. You got that word? Uh, yeah, uh, so Toma tells me every time I come back down here, he says, <laughs> don't come back, don't come back. Uh, <laughs> Four, four or five times now, Tomo. 
Yeah, so uh, that's something that the manager will say every time to you. Congratulations. Uh, it's been great working with you. I don't want to see you. Don't come back. <laughs> don't come back. So uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's that's it's a thing, and that's what we say here. Right, that's a good word for you. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it's 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 a it's a rite of passage, so to say. Never see you again. Never see you again. That's it. That's it. Hey, that's a great one.